Uh, what's dangerous with the concept of <clears throat> over the hill people been you know over the hill if they if they have a family then they have you know they've had children who have grown up a bit so they've got young young now matured children who can take care and tend to the needs of the older person in the family um, if they're an artist or an actor you know they'll they they can tailor the sort of work they do, so that it always it always uh, the work conforms to their needs as an as a person getting older. But what happens in a business like private investigating or dangerous mind file profiling or something like that? You know, say that they say that they're doing that, um, and they're fucking stupid codgers. Um, on top of other things, um, then that means that for the sort of work they'll set out to do, they'll be in some work environment where they're not being audited. No one's like think of a demented man uh, trying to make it to the toilet and he shits his pants on the floor. Now that's obviously sad. It's obviously sad he didn't make it to the toilet. But if you've got a man like that who's got like. A, Cle a Cleveland steamer running down the inside of his thigh, and he's like, but don't you know who I am? I'm Roger Mark Benel Sator, and I'm built capital chemist. And he's like, yeah, I can still clockwork people. I can still spot a dangerous mind from a mile away. I'm fucking sharp-handed. I'm, I'm quick-witted. I'm sharper than the atom you know, fucking whatever he says to himself. You know, he's got no family, no kids. Passed, pissed off the time to procreate and knock his fucking wife up. Talks like a fucking idiot. Thinks like a fucking idiot. Excuses himself like a fucking idiot. Then we now face the possibility that he'll be endangering innocent civilian lives, jeopardizing their reputations, putting uh, fake documents against their name, and and all you'll do is catch him aside, and he'll be like, the, he'll, he'll be shying off, going, mm, oh, oh, oh well, oh well. And then as a last resort, he'll be the one to say, well, maybe I, what if, what if I'm getting a bit old? So like, well, then get the fuck out of private eye work right away. As soon as you had the first fucking, as soon as you had the first fucking sign of it, you should have pulled out of that work. You fucking de degenerate, fucktard, faggot idiot. Now you deserve to get your head smashed in, but you're too old that no one will want to smash your head in. Oh, well, I devoted my life to science, and if I want to study from private distance, private detection, private detection systems, p -p 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 -pri 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 private, private. And that's the sort of, that's the sort of man that Roger Tor will be going home from his, you know, his next little session to his fucking wife now. Oh, uh, p -p -p you know, there's, no, there's generally no one stationed. There should it should be even worse than when they have trainee up and coming uh, researchers and an analysis of the mind. Um, it should be even worse. Like if you've got to have one auditing, assessing teacher or educational professional stationed to approve of your work while you're an up and comer, then you've got to have about fucking ten to twelve of them when you're coming down the fucking mountain because that's. Um, but I'm sure Roger Toll's saving that special place for his mother and sister, back in Tasmania, of course. Um, yeah, that, actually, that's it's probably it's an interesting topic to think about is um, the reality of getting old and over the hill in relation to the type of work you do. You know, an old person. So I'm not discriminating against the elderly when I say things like this. And if an elderly person is doing like there's an old man who cleans the stairs at these units and I've never mocked him once or anything like that. Um, one other tenant said, you know, he hates the sound of the tapping on the tapping from the broomstick apparatus near the door or the window and he's written up signs saying, don't tap the fucking stick. But, you know, in Roger Toll's case, with what he does with, with research, if he's a fucking idiot now, like he's, he's now at the age where for him to, to call himself any sort of researcher at his age plus his Freemason religion after all he's said and done and how, how good he is at being so wrong and forming the dumbest, dumb fuck conclusions. Well, that's what we've got, that's what we've got insurance for. If we, if we ruin lives, can't we just call the insurance people? 
No, Roger, it means you're a genuine fucking idiot. Look in the mirror, look at your face. Yes, that face that looks like the donkey raped the pizza and spooged on the goat and got the goat semen and mixed it in and went to the Freemason temple and used it as lubricant for Rolf, Har- Rolf Harris's dick shaft and then you, you excused him because you knew it was only Rolf's genes and he wasn't really being a naughty boy, so you sucked the kids, I mean the... the the, the sweat off Rolf Harris's shaft too, because, you know, you're open to his rights. Yes, Ro- Roger, we understand all that. But you are too old to research anyone. You're a fucking idiot, and you can't research a fucking thing. So go back to, go to single-celled org. Here, we'll get you a little microscope, amoebas, paramecium. Paramecium have little silica hairs. It's fascinating. Maybe you can sell them wax ease, wax off, easy wax strips for the silica hair on paramecium. Because you're a fucking monger when it comes to any sort of social scientific research. Do you accept that, Roger? Because you're gonna. You're gonna at the peril of your whole company's image. Fucking Roger the faggot. Over now.